an area of darkness. In the final two chapters, Naipaul reflects on his experiences in India and his struggles to understand the country. He argues that India is an area of darkness because it is trapped in its own traditions and unable to break free from poverty and exploitation. He concludes that India is a country that is trapped in its own traditions and unable to break free from the cycle of poverty and exploitation. Naipaul's narrative style is also highly descriptive, as he paints vivid pictures of the people, places, and events he encounters in India. He uses sensory details to create a sense of atmosphere and mood, and he often employs figurative language to enhance his descriptions. The second part of An Area of Darkness by V.S. Naipaul focuses on the author's travels through various parts of India, as he continues to explore the country's history, culture, and society. Here is a brief overview of the second part of the book. In the first chapter of Part 2, Naipaul travels to Bombay, now Mumbai, and reflects on the city's history and geography, as well as its social and economic challenges. He describes the city's slums, the impact of the caste system on its residents, and the tensions between Hindus and Muslims. In the following chapter, Naipaul travels to Madras, now Chennai, and explores the city's cultural and religious traditions, including the Hindu temple at Mahablipuram and the Christian missions in the area. He also reflects on the impact of British colonialism on Indian society and the lingering effects of colonialism on Indian culture and identity. In the third chapter, Naipaul travels to the southern state of Kerala and 